Good morning, everyone. Myself, Asima Pass, Organic Chemistry faculty, having an experience of nearly 11 years. And presently, I'm going to discuss about a very small topic, important topic that is acidity. So let's begin with this lecture. Acidity is directly proportional to the stability of conjugate base. Acidity is directly proportional to the stability of conjugate base. What exactly is conjugate base? How can we write a conjugate base? To write a conjugate base, to write a conjugate base, we need to remove a proton. We need to remove a proton. Like for example, if I ask you what is the conjugate base of ammonia, remove a proton from it, you will get NH2 minus. And NH2 minus is the conjugate base of ammonia. Likewise, for example, if you take water, and if you want to write the conjugate base of water, remove a proton, you will get OH minus, and OH minus is the conjugate base of water. <clears throat> in the same way, <clears throat> sorry, in the same way, To write, to write conjugate acid, we need to add a proton. We need to add a proton. Like for example, I have ammonia. And if I want to write the conjugate acid of ammonia, I need to add a proton. That is NH4 plus. It becomes as NH4 plus. This is the conjugate acid of ammonia. And if you remove a proton, if you remove a proton, it becomes NH2 minus, which is called as conjugate base of ammonia. In the same way, water, if you remove a proton, it gives OH minus, which is a conjugate base. And to write a conjugate acid, you need to add a proton. So if you add a proton, you will get H3O plus, which is called as conjugate acid of water. So to write a conjugate base, remove a proton. And to write a conjugate acid, add a proton. Now, as I'm discussing about the acidity topic, it depends upon the stability of the conjugate base. For example, I have an acid, AH, and acid will dissociate to give A minus plus H plus. So this is a conjugate base of A minus. If this conjugate base is stable, if conjugate base is stable, the stability can be through any, many reasons, like for example, it can be stable due to the aromaticity or it can be stable due to the resonance or it can be stable due to the strong minus I inductive effect. Many factors are there for the stability. If the conjugate base is stable, this is more acidic. This is more acidic. Okay. So, for example, for example, if I want to compare, if I want to compare whether alcohol is more acidic or phenol is more acidic, if I want to compare, if I want to give acidity order, acidity order of alcohol, any aliphatic alcohol, and phenol. I have to write conjugate bases. 
what are the conjugate bases? The conjugate base of alcohol is RO minus, and the conjugate base of phenol is phenoxide. This is alkoxide conjugate base, and this is phenoxide. Now, as I told you, acidity is directly proportional to the stability of conjugate base. We need to check the stability of the conjugate base. Now, out of these two conjugate base, the phenoxide is stable. Phenoxide is stable due to resonance. Due to resonance. The negative charge which is formed here on the oxygen will be in resonance. This phenoxide negative charge will be in resonance. And total five resonating structures are possible. Total five. This is the second one. This is the structure one. This is the structure two. And if I continue the resonance, you will get negative charge at para position also. This is the negative charge. The third structure and one more resonance. If I do, I'll get the negative charge at ortho position. Negative charge. And ultimately, the negative charge will be on the oxygen. So total five resonating structures are possible. Due to this five resonating structures, this phenoxide ion is stable. Total five resonating structures. Therefore, phenoxide is stable. So if phenoxide is stable, the conjugate base, if phenoxide is stable, if I speak about the stability of conjugate base, this is more stable, then definitely this phenol will be more acidic. I told you acidity is proportional to the stability of the conjugate base. So what is the order of stability? What is the order of acidity? Sorry, phenol is more acidic than alcohol. Once again, I'm repeating. If you are talking about acidity, please think about the stability of the conjugate base. Without writing conjugate base, do not answer this. Like one more example I'll take. For example, and, and one more thing here to add on this. More the resonating structures. More the resonating structures structures, more is the stability. More the resonating structures, more is the stability. This is a general statement. But point to note, this is not applicable everywhere because for example, for example, if I ask you, what is the acidity order? What is the acidity order? of carboxylic acid and phenol. Which one is more acidic? So just now, as I told you, if you are thinking about acidity, you need to think about the conjugate base stability. So what is the conjugate base and what is the stability? For example, how can I write the conjugate base of carboxylic acid by removing the proton? This is carboxylate, carboxylate and phenol will give phenoxide conjugate base, phenoxide conjugate base. Now, if I compare these two, just now we have done the resonating structures of phenoxide. These have five resonating structures. 
but what about carboxylate carboxylate have carboxylate have only two resonating structures if i go for the resonance carboxylate have only two resonating structures the negative charge will be on the other oxygen resonating structure 1 resonating structure 2 so so if you go for the number this is two resonating structure if you just go for the number which one should be more stable carboxylate or phenoxide so according to the number these have five resonating structures these have two resonating structures so according to the number phenoxide should be more stable right but the point to note here is but the point to note here is these resonating structures are called as equivalent resonating structures these are called as equivalent resonating structures what do you mean by equivalent resonating structure see now tell me out of these two resonating structures out of these two resonating structures is there any difference between these two no difference no difference between these two resonating structures the resonating structure which has got nothing no difference between them those type of resonating structures are called as equivalent resonating structures no difference look at the structure the negative charge was the was on the oxygen now also it is on the oxygen no difference in that so these type of resonating structures where there is no difference between them that is those are called as equivalent resonating structures and what about the other see for example if i take phenoxide now where was the negative charge the negative charge was on the oxygen now after resonance where was the negative charge it is on the carbon now if i ask you do you see any difference between one and two yes there is a difference between one and two so these type of resonating structures are called as non equivalent non equivalent resonating structures so remember always remember always equivalent sorry equivalent resonating structures are more stable than non equivalent non equivalent resonating structures this is very important they will not depend upon the number they will not depend upon the number directly it is without referring any number we can say equivalent or more stable than non now tell me which one is more stable carboxylate is more stable or phenol is more stable definitely carboxylate is more stable this is more stable if this conjugate base is more stable then who is more acidic carboxylic acid is more acidic or phenol definitely carboxylic acid is more acidic in nature this is what i want to explain you here that if you go for the number if you go for the number more the number of resonating structures more is the stability then you will get the reverse answer now when to check the number when you are when you are comparing equivalent and non equivalent then definitely equivalent is more stable irrespective of the number irrespective of the number of uh, resonating structures no doubt no doubt this statement is also true that more the number of resonating structures more is the stability this is also true but it, when it comes to the matter of equivalent and non equivalent number will not be considered because equivalent are more stable than non equivalent resonating structures
So carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol. One more example, like if I ask you, which hydrogen is more acidic in nature, whether HA or if I ask you HB, which compound is more acidic? I am asking the acidity order. So what did I tell you? Whenever you discuss about acidity, think about the stability of the conjugate base. Now look at this conjugate base. If I remove hydrogen, if I remove HA, okay, so what charge I'll get on this compound? I'll get negative charge. If I remove a proton, I'll get a negative charge on this carbon. And if I remove a proton from here, if I remove a proton from here, I'll get negative charge here. Now look at these two anions, conjugate bases. I think you understand this is aromatic in nature. Six electrons in resonance, four in plus two rule. And this is anti-aromatic in nature. Anti-aromatic in nature. How many electrons? Eight electrons, four in rule. Four in electrons rule. So now tell me which one is more stable. The first one is more stable because it is aromatic in nature. This is more stable. This is less stable. So now tell me out of these two, which one is more stable? This conjugate base is more stable. If this conjugate base is more stable, this is more acidic compared to that of the second one. So remember students, you need to remember one point whenever you're talking about acidity, whenever you're discussing or deciding about the acidity, please write the conjugate base and think about the stability of the conjugate base and only then give the answer. Do not give the answer blindly. Okay. Thank you very much. In the next lecture, we'll come with the another topic. Bye-bye. Take care.